I want to talk about something um, that violence kind of messed up. And you mentioned this specific, these specific events, you know, maybe about a year, year and a half ago, almost probably even two years ago. I know we did a video on it, but let's let's revisit it because it was something that was part of your your upbringing that just disappeared. But um, first of all, was the Watts Summer Festival and Watts Stacks the same thing or are those two totally different? No, things? OK, two different things. OK, so wow. they, you talk to us about, you know, the Watts Stacks and the Watts Summer Festival and how, you know, violence just messed that up. Watts Summer Festival usually was held at the uh, uh, at the park on 103rd and uh, Central. Uh, Ted Watkins Park now. Uh, yeah, what it was back in the day, man. But it was uh, it was something. Uh, what Will Rogers? It was something else. But it was uh, it was always in Watkins. They have a big festival, and they'd have vendors and, and carnival rides, and people come out there and hang out. And it was just a festival event, man. It just was something to do, man. It was everybody would come there. You know, it was no big deal. And then right around the eighties. Late nineties, um, it got gang infested, man, and gangs just ran everybody. It, it was it was no longer cool, dude. Mm. You know, and this is something that we did to ourselves. The people, of people, the, the cultural people of Watts put the event together, but the the non cultural knuckleheads who don't give a damn about nothing decided it was they park and anybody away from their hood. Can't come to the park. Come on, man. How am I going to make money with that? You ain't buying nothing. You, then you're going to run off the customers. Man. That's, and, and that's what happens. You ain't buying nothing, but then you're going to run off customers. The watch that was something totally different. That was just a big old concert. They only had it two years that I recall. I was the first one. And back then, uh, that's when Tookie and Jamil and all the, uh, the super the super crypt of that day were out in pack uh, doing what they did take, which was take another jacket. And it was a whole different event, man. It was just, it was beautiful on one end and horrible on the next. And that's what I think I probably saw the first real effects of, of gang, gang banging, um, up close and personal. Mm. I mean, you hear about these cats on the street, but you never saw, uh, 50, 60 guys just walking through the, walking through the crowd just taking people's coats, man. Just, 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 it was just, it was just a mess. I remember in the bathroom, this is a true story. I'm in the bathroom. Dude was in the bathroom, uh, walking out, had a coat on. One guy, he was, he was pissing. He just took his coat off while he was pissing. He just gave me an eye with no problems, okay? It was like that, dude. I mean, oh, oh man. shit, no, here they come. It was like that, man. It was like, you know, they walk in the bathroom. Oh, shit, yeah. you know. And they walk out. And I, I remember the last thing I saw that night, man, um, they was, had people running. And they had just, some of the trees had just been cut. And there was a one one branch, it must have been on the angle or something. The lady fell and her eye got caught on the tree right here. And it tore this off, man, like, like it was this paper, dude. And nobody stopped to help her, man. Mm. Nobody stopped to help her. And she damn near got stomped to death because everybody was running. From the uh, from the mob, man, it was just you know, and that was when you see like a bunch of pit bulls just get just get just just get after people because they was running, mm. you know, and it was just a, it was just it was they did just, that was that year was a dollar for the watch that next year it was two dollars and nobody really wanted to go after that because it was it was too convoluted, man. Damn, man, that sucks. I mean, we had movie theaters, you know, drive-in theaters, you know, things like Compton had a drive-in you, theater. You couldn't, man. You can't, you can't put black folks in the dark. Man. No, you can't put them in the dark. Man. Somebody ain't going home. That's crazy. Dude, Compton Drive-In was notorious for shootouts back in the day. Okay? Twin View. We had a Twin View theater right here on... on uh, Alondra? On, Rose uh, no, it was on uh, Figueroa and Redondo. Gotcha. No, no, I'm sorry. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. We had two, we had two theaters. They had twin theaters. They had two screens. Uh, one by Gardena High School, where I went to. We used to, I used to, we used to park behind. Me and my girl would park behind the theater and look at the movie. Didn't watch it. I mean, just look at the movie. Good to hear it, but we watch it from behind the tree. Okay, we. I did that because I didn't have no money to go to the yeah. driving with. And then, um, I think that was that was the twin view. 
No, no, the twin people are going to die on the beach. I got to do some research on that one, man. So I think they both had dual screens. Mm. But at, at some point in time, you couldn't go to the you couldn't go to the snack bar, dude. Because you get your ass whooped. You get robbed. It's dark. You know, cats is out there just lurking. And it just it's just made for a bad environment, man. You go to get some popcorn, come back with that with ass whooping. Damn, man. It's a cold you game. Know. Well, you know what you I know, and, these are all things that happen in our own neighborhood that we did to ourselves. I love I love my people, man. But like Chris Rock say, I love black folks. Can't stand niggas, man. There it is, dog. Damn, the the realest Chris Rock, the all in my opinion, the all time goat. But yes, the realest shit he ever said, right there. Love black people, hate niggas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was uh, real shit, dude. Man, dude. Well, I got to wrap it up, Lonzo. I wish I could stay longer, but I have something I have to do. Yeah. Um, now, you want me to, um, I, I recorded this. Do you want me to just take the recording and repost it and, as a live show and we can and just keep it pushing like that? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yes, sir. I'll try to do it tonight. All if not, right. I'll have it uh, first thing uh, in the morning. All right, folks. Well, I know y'all, um, I, it was my fault. I took the time late. Uh, when Dusty had to go, I, I, I messed up. My fault. <laughs> but from the F, but I, I'll get it straight for Thursday. From the West Coast to the East Coast and everything in between, folks. You're live and live with the guy by the West Coast hip hop. Well, you ain't live, but you will be next time. I see you. Peace. <laughs> Peace, man. See the city bus. She don't want to ride the city bus. Because she's new to the town, I advise Look for truth, there is a lost in the sound Brains are lost in the cloud, dead from all of the smoke That's the reason why the ostrich hides his head in the ground That's the reason why the monster even puts on a mask And we turn the city green to blend in with the grass The city scene made a crash, I fell in love with it twice Had to tell her goodbye cause she fell in love with the night I couldn't keep up, I tried to bring it down from the sky But the clouds were so nice that she took a nap for a while And when she woke up, I finally had a kid and a lady Bone told me saw the other day with the baby ain't life crazy i think about it once in a while when it's cloudy outside and the sun goes none of these drugs do what they supposed to yeah and what's the point of hurting people that you're close to yeah most of my life i've been following stars knowing i ain't really had to go that far come to find out is the truth i already know yeah Spinning out a cylinder, moving, I'm in reverse.